Of course, travel is always a big part of the Thanksgiving holiday. If you live in Rhode Island, you're probably dealing with many of the same potholes and other highway issues that have been around for a long time. Tonight, correspondent Douglas Kennedy looks at what one state official is doing about it. We had the worst roads and bridges in the entire United States. We we're 50th out of 50. When Peter Alvedi took over the Rhode Island Department of Transportation in 2015, he faced infrastructure that was consistently rated the worst in the nation. But that wasn't his biggest problem. So your biggest problem was you felt you had lost the trust of Rhode Island residents to fix Rhode Island infrastructure. Yes, we did, and, and rightfully so. At that time, two and a half years ago, we had only 29% of our projects on time and on budget. Projects, for instance, seem to go on without end and always seem to cost more than originally planned. The solution, according to Alvedi, transparency. Which is why he mandated these signs on every bridge project in the state. They list the cost, expected date of completion. They also reveal whether the project is on time and within budget. He also created a website detailing information about every public works project in Rhode Island. But not everyone is buying the apparent transparency in the signs. They're ugly. It's sign pollution. Its cost is extremely expensive. Portsmouth resident John Vitkevich recently filed a series of freedom of information requests to find out their cost. Two hundred fifty to three hundred thousand dollars. That money should be spent on fixing our roads and our infrastructure, not on signs. So your critics point out that ironically these signs ended up costing more than originally promised, and that they are taking money away from actual infrastructure projects. What, what do you say to them? Well, now because of accountability. We have 100% of our projects on time and on budget. A complete turnaround he attributes to holding government accountable in a state where a lot of road work still needs to be done. In Providence, Rhode Island, Douglas Kennedy, Fox News.